WXY and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? I always love it when we sing the alphabet song together. Me too. You know, I like it so much, sometimes I hum it to myself. Well, looks like the sun's setting. You know what that means. Well, the fun doesn't have to be over yet, does it? Yeah, Roger. The fun's just starting. Oh, I wish I could stay, but I gotta get packing. Oh. Oh, I know. How about next week, we have a big old party. I'll invite everyone in the neighborhood. I'll bring the balloons. I'll be the entertainment. Spaghetti! <laughs> well, that sounds like a great time. And I hope to see all of you there for the big finale of... Oh, hey, Raj. You're just in time, Rosa. Is she eating? Listen, Raj. You need to call Dylan. That boy needs to come home and see his mom while she's stable. While she's stable? I thought the medication was working. Dr. Verner said we had this thing cornered. This ain't about what the doctor says. That boy deserves to see his mama. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, he had plenty of opportunities to do that. It's been four years since he visited. That hurt Monica more than anything. Fix it, Raj. Prove to her that your heart ain't as cold as them dolls. <sighs> You're back already? You must have really missed me. More than words, Monica. How are you feeling? I think these meds are really working. Oh, um, Rhonda found Dylan's old teddy bear. He's a little worse for the wear, but isn't he cute as a button? I remember this guy. I thought we gave him the goodwill. I miss those days. Before all of this. <laughs> it was just a little dilly. Hey, Raj. Can you sing me a song? Oh, I don't know, Monica. I don't know if I'm up for it. Can I take a rain check? Okay. I'll start it for you. The sun has set on Sunnydale. It's time to say Goodbye. And though our time here has felt short, we're glad that you stopped by. We made some laughs and sang some songs. Tomorrow we'll do the same. When the sun comes up, I'll see you again. I love you. I love you. <laughs> Okay, Raj? Yeah, Todd, I'm great, just peachy. We've been staring into that sheet music for 10 minutes. So unless you've forgotten how to play overnight, something tells me you're not okay. Look, I'm sorry, Todd, I can't do this. This was Monica's song. It's just, it's not the same without her. I know, Raj, but it's the sunset song. The show can't end without it. 
She'd want you to sing it. Keep rolling. And stand by. Action, Raj. Okay, people. That's lunch. Hey, Dad. Dylan, I thought your flight was getting in tomorrow afternoon. Good to see you, too. I was gonna call, but I figured you'd be here anyway. Well, honestly, son, I wish you had called because I am up to my eyeballs in work. I think it's best you just go home and settle in. midnight. What are you still doing here? Uh, look, kid, I'm sorry, okay? The finale is in three days, and I've got a lot of work that I need to get done. Ed! I didn't fly all the way from Dallas for you to be here while I'm at home trying to arrange Mom's funeral. Well, don't worry about it. I took care of the arrangements already. Seriously? You knew I was coming to help. Why didn't you wait? I just wanted to get it squared away so I could focus on what I need to get done. I don't see what the problem is. Terry, where is he? Conference call. Slept at the office again, and uh, he smells like it too. Ugh. Yeah. Hey. We're meeting the lawyer at five to go over Mom's will. Make sure he gets this, please. Roger that. Get it? Good one, Terry. stuck in traffic. <laughs> if you want to follow me, I'll get started. Oh, look, the prodigal son returns. <clears throat> you were supposed to meet us at the attorney's office. What the hell? We waited over an hour for you. Oh, yeah, the attorney. Guess I got caught up working. It must have slipped my mind. Working? Looks like you're doing more drinking than work. We're talking about mom's will here, dad, and you don't even give a shit. Well, if you hadn't noticed, I have a finale tomorrow, and I've got a lot of preparation to do, so cut me some slack. You haven't changed one bit. You don't care about anything but yourself in this damn puppet show. Mom would be disgusted. Your mother cared about this show as much as anybody, as much as I did. And let's not forget, it was you who never bothered to visit her 
All of these years. I couldn't take it here anymore. You don't know what it's like growing up with a dad that every kid adores, but in reality, he's just a selfish, drunk workaholic who couldn't care less about his actual family. How dare you? You stand there, and you judge me, and you treat me like I'm some kind of monster. And I don't get up every single day in front of millions of children, and they suck out my creative energy. And I am under pressure to educate and entertain. I did this for them. I did this for your mother, and I did this for you. I'm gonna sleep in my office. Have a good night. the crap out of me. What are you doing? Sorry, D. I was just dropping off the highlight reel for Roger. Actually, uh, you mind giving this a look? I want to get finalized before tomorrow. I, I don't know, man. I'm beat. I think I'm going to head home. Come on, man. Just 10 minutes of your time. You can use my office. All right. Get some sleep. I'll see you in the morning. This is it. You feeling all right? Yeah, I'm fine, Todd. Let's get the show on the road. All right. All right, quiet on the set. Sunset song, take one. Roger, anytime you're ready.
The sun has set on Sunnydale. It's time to say goodbye. And though our time here has felt short, we're glad that you stopped by. We made some laughs and sang some songs. Tomorrow we'll do the same. When the sun comes up, I'll see you again. When the sun comes up, I'll see you again.